Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, I'm sorry if my energy is not as high as it normally is. Um, you guys can probably kind of hear it in my voice, but I am fighting a cold right now. My daughter got me sick. Yes, baby J.I. got me sick. Um, I do want to apologize for the uploading schedule this week. Um, my daughter, like I said, my daughter is sick. Um, we were in the hospital for like two days, man. Um, thankfully everything is good now. She had a fever. She wasn't able to hold down her food. Everything she ate, she threw up. They had her on Pedialyte. She was still throwing up the Pedialyte. Like it was crazy, man. For those of you out there who have kids, you guys know how it is. Whenever your child is like under the weather or something's wrong with your child, it's like, everything stops the world stops you just want to make sure that they're good and make sure that everything is okay with them um before moving on so that's why i wasn't uploading man but enough rambling enough of that today's video we are going to be going over every single modification that is done to vader my 2021 camaro ss1 le so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it yeah What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. All right, y'all. So here you have it starting from the exterior and then we'll work our way to the interior and then we'll go underneath the hood, man. So starting from the rear, you do what I'm saying. As y'all can t probably tell, we are no longer rocking the stock MPP active exhaust. We are back on the AWE track axle back exhaust speaking of exhaust we are currently running the long tube speed engineering catalyst headers the stock x pipe and then like i said awe track exhaust then moving on from the exhaust staying in the same area though we are running the drake muscle rear diffuser splats i get asked about those all the time then as you guys can see the big obvious piece the piece de resistance you dig what i'm saying the carbon fiber Anderson Composites wing integrated trunk. Uh, my one of my favorite pieces, man. You guys know I love carbon fiber, and just look at that. And it's the most controversial thing on my car, leaving the 1LE tri bar spoiler winglets on. Everybody tells me to take them off now that I have the trunk, but if you look at this angle right here from right here the tri bar spoiler matches up with the rear diffuser splat and it gives it kind of like a layer so that's why i keep them honestly it's my car you know what i'm saying you guys can hate them as much as you want but i'm not taking them off i actually want to get them made in carbon fiber so that they match the trunk and the rest of the little pieces but moving on from the rear oh i almost forgot we also have the sequenced third brake light. If you guys aren't familiar with that, I'll go ahead and pop the trunk and cut on the party function. So as you guys can see, my third brake light does dance. You dig what I'm saying? There's this mode and then there's also a different mode whenever I apply the brake. Unfortunately, I'm recording Dolo right now, so I don't have anybody that can hold my phone for me while I show you guys the brakes function. But this is the party function. If you guys are interested, man, go to sequence.com and use the promo code that pops up on the screen. Save yourself some money at checkout. I almost forgot to mention the trunk is dual-sided carbon fiber. Got that beautiful Anderson Composites plaque of authentication. You dig what I'm saying? But moving on from the rear, let's go ahead and go down the side of the car. So as you guys can see, we have the ZL1 add-on rock guards. Definitely helps 
with these big old 305s and 285s up front, slinging water up on the car when you're driving through rain definitely helps a lot. I re recommend them 10 out of 10. Go to Wild Hammer Motorsports, pick yourself up a pair, use J.I. Wild at checkout, save yourself some money. Dang, man, look at that. J.I. just saving y'all so much money. You might as well go ahead and hit the thumbs up right now and subscribe if you haven't already. Well, let's keep it going, man. We also have the carbon add-ons carbon fiber gas cap cover and we also have the next gen speed carbon fiber antenna for the shark fin then moving down even more we have the extreme online store carbon fiber side skirts as you guys can kind of tell the clear coat has definitely seen better days on this side skirt man it's starting to kind of fade out so i do need to get these redone Moving along, we have the 1LE badges. I did get these from Amazon. The one is fading, man. So I am gonna have to get a new set in the near future. Moving on to the front of the car. The biggest thing that kind of takes, you know, your eyes go straight to is the ZL1 AZ style carbon fiber hood. And yes, this is double-sided carbon fiber as well, meaning the under panel of the hood itself is carbon. Then we also have Drake Muscle Dive Planes. Everybody asks me about these. I really love how they accent the front bumper and kind of gives it more of that aggressive 1LE look that Chevy kind of neglected us with, with the front end. Then we have the ZL1 add-ons tow hook, but it also doubles back as a front license plate holder as well. All you got to do is unscrew the tow hook and then screw in the license plate front bracket and screw your license plate onto it. Other than that, man, as far as the exterior goes, that is pretty much it. Everything else that you see on the car does come factory with the 1LE package. So let's go ahead and move to the interior because I know you guys are going to want to see what we got working with on the inside of the car. So yes, moving inside the car, as you can see, just like the exterior, the interior is covered in carbon fiber. We have the Wild Hammer Motorsports GM official carbon fiber passenger airbag dashboard piece. We also have the next gen speed carbon fiber knee pads. We also have the carbon fiber next gen speed transmission housing bezel. We also have the carbon fiber from next gen speed as well on the vents and the surround for the vents we also have the radio covered in the carbon fiber and we have the push button surround the push button itself and even the little trim pieces underneath it covered in carbon moving on to the driver's side we have the carbon fiber steering wheel sourced from wild hammer motorsports and we have the P3 gauge, which doubles back for IATs, coolant temps, ethanol content, FR ratio, boost controller. This thing here does a lot. Then we have the air fuel AEM wideband gauge, some more carbon fiber pieces. Better shot of the JI Galaxy. This is 1150 stars in here. It says JI and BYL which stands for build your legacy. Now that we've gone through everything with the interior and the exterior, it's time to get to the meat and potatoes. What's underneath that carbon fiber hood? Let's get it. Double-sided carbon, as I mentioned earlier, and that Anderson Composites stamp of approval. But here we are, man. So underneath the hood, we have the LT2 ported intake manifold, the stock LT1 ported throttle body, the RotoFab cold air intake with a dry filter on it. We also have the JLT oil catch can. Like I said earlier, the speed engineering Ensign 7 8 catless headers, uh, E85 flex fuel kit. And that is pretty much it with this build, man. It is a simple Boton car car makes right around 470 horsepower nothing crazy that is on e85 like i said and um that's pretty much it to the car man literally nothing crazy yet we haven't gone wild we have not opened this motor yet we are about to though and yeah man like i said it's just a simple bolt-on setup nothing too crazy now that we've gone over everything that's done to this car let's go ahead and get a start up real quick get you guys a little sound clip Yeah, 
That thing sounds nasty with those AWE exhaust, man. I'm not gonna lie. An AWE track does this thing justice, man. For real, for real. But yeah, man, without further ado, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about Vader. If you guys are ready for the next phase, Vader is 100% dialed in as far as the tune goes on this setup. We've seen the fastest that it can do. Now it's time to open up that motor, drop a cam in this joint, slap some heads on it, and really see what we can get this LT1 motor to do with some some crazy fast boy parts. You dig what I'm saying? But like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. I don't even know how I almost forgot to mention these because I get asked about these literally in every reel, in every short, in every YouTube video. My white LED side markers, I got these off of Amazon. They've been discontinued ever since I bought them, literally. So I can't even get the link to them to send them to you guys. Don't think I'm BSing, I'm being so serious. You can't find them because they don't sell them anymore. So pray for me, I hope mine never burns out. You'll get a quick view of the front joint too. You know what I'm saying, the things are so icy. Also, before I forget, the car is also paint corrected and ceramic coated. That, that part. <laughs> But yeah, man, as you guys can see, I'm sweating buckets. I'm not feeling good at all, but I had to get this vlog to you guys. Like I said, y'all hear Vader talking back there, man. I can listen to that all day, man. I mean, nasty. Now imagine that, but with the BTR Stage 2 cam. Sheesh. Boy, that top is going to be crazy. But if you guys are ready for that, man, turn on post notifications so you don't miss that upload when it takes part. You do what I'm saying? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that. While I'm in here, I thought I might as well get a clip of the gauges active. So there you guys go. P3 gauge showing ethanol content. I just put some E in. I was running 93. That's why it's so low of a content. And then you got the wide band showing Lambda right now. This is what the car idles at, but yeah, man, just to show you guys the gauges in action. That outro. Peace.